Okay, welcome to part four of the YSEC Global um, Grok Learning Introduction to Python. So we're doing quite well, we've done quite a bit, and we're going to keep going, we're nearly halfway through this. So um, let's, let's get straight into it. So um, we're going to start off looking again at strings. Um, what is strings need quotes? Well, let's have a look at this. We'll run the code, and it's running, sometimes it's a little bit slow to run. Um, message and hello. Um, here, message is a variable, and we're assigning it to the, the value hello into message. So, here, message is a string. So without strings, without quotes, um, Python thinks things are variables. And if it doesn't know what the variable is, like if you haven't assigned it a value, it creates an error. So here, it's going to think that you're printing hi as a variable, and then it's not going to know what you're talking about because you've got there. So two variables, what do you want to do with it? So that's just crazy. So it doesn't know what it means. So you look at that and you might fix it up quite easily. Hi there. Um, put quotes around. So quotes are important to distinguish between uh, strings and variables. So let's keep moving on there. So hi there. So next one. So single and double quotes. Um, we talked about this earlier. I've, um, string can be enclosed single or double quotes. I um, tend to use double quotes. It's just a habit from other programming languages. But you need to be consistent. Um, and you're more likely to use single quotes within text than double quotes. So that's why another reason to use not double quotes. But as long as you're consistent, it doesn't really matter. Strings can use either. <coughs> okay. So what happens if you want to include quote or an apostrophe? Um, let's have a look at this one. Name equals Grok in all those quotes. It's what doesn't know what it means. So um, you need to include them. Um, if you wanted to do that, you would change that to a, a single quote and another single quote. So that would then print Grok is his name. So you can do that one. Um, <coughs> Bilbo Baggins, first name, space, last time we talked about that before, putting the space in between them, like, or not at the beginning of the variable, um, prints the same thing. And that's what we had a look at up here. So if you wanted to include them. So strings are very important. Um, multiply strings. What? No, you multiply numbers. You don't multiply strings. It's just crazy talk. So what happens if we go print AB plus AB? We get what? We get AB, AB. So that's kind of what we expected. We've seen that before. And we've put spaces and stuff. Uh, strings put spaces in it. Um, what would happen if you did this? AB times 5. With a string, the asterisk or the multiply becomes like a repeat. So repeat a number of times. Um, and you can also do five times that as well. <coughs> and this one here, like, if you can work out how to multiply strings together, then like, you're doing a lot better than a lot of computer scientists because like, that just does not make sense. So let's have a look at our first problem. So no, we've been asked to write a movie script and um, sometimes you want to no and sometimes you want a long no. So we're going to write a program that asks how, to, how long the no should be and then use that number of zeros or O's, sorry. Uh, here's an example. Um, here's another example, 10. So how would we do this? So we need to input an integer. We've done that before. And we need to use that um, last little thing, multiplying string. So we go n, and then we'll multiply the number, the zero by the number of um, how long. So if that makes sense. I know what I'm talking about. So let's just see. So we need a variable. So how long, long. Um, and it's an integer. We're going to input it. And the prompt is how long, question mark, space. We always do that. And because it's an integer, we've got to make sure we have two brackets there. And We'll make this nice and simple, we're just going to print. Now we always, we always have an N, always have an N, capital N. And then we're going to add in a O, and we're going to go times by how long. That's three times I've done that. So that, my friends, should work. Let's have a look. Run it. And it says how long? And I'm going to say five. No, let's go one, two, three, four, five. I guess that's, um, I don't know what this one will do, but I'm going to say what happens if we go zero? That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Zero. Ah, so it's still, like that makes a lot of sense. So that's pretty cool. So let's mark that. I've already done this like they're all green and it's identical to what I did before. So um, we'll move right along. Converting numbers to string. And we have seen converting um, strings to numbers. So let's have a look at this. The answer equals five. The answer is plus answer. What? Can't convert int object to string implicitly. So that means that there's no way that Python knows what you want if you just go plus five. Like, do you want it F I V E? Do you want it number five? What and what if it was like 1,300? How, how would you want that? So it's confused because there's nothing that happens, and it's a type error because strings and integers are different types and have different type information. So how do we do that? Well, we converted a string to an integer with int, so we just use the string function. So answer is five. This should work now. Some programming languages other than Python actually allow you to do that, um, but um, Python doesn't. Now, working with numbers and strings. Now, it starts to get messy when you're doing all this, but that's okay. So number, 
equals int, input enter a number, so see, nice prompt, answer equals number plus 10, print, and then we go string number, and that will give us our um, number we put in, plus 10 is, um, and string answer, so let's run that. So 22, 22 plus 10 is 32, so that works, and it's pretty cool. So now we're going to, oh, we're going to get a letter from the Queen. Every, um, for nearly 100 years, tradition that um, members of the Commonwealth um, get a letter from the King or Queen. Um, so if you're a Republican, um, you break that tradition and you won't, nobody will ever get letters from the King or Queen. So we want to stay um, as a member of the Commonwealth, I guess, if you want the 100th birthday letter. Um, we're going to write a program that works out how long until your letter arrives. So let's think about this. So what do we need? Um, we need to know your age. So we go, um, how old are you? 14 years. And you must wait for 86 years. So what we're trying to do is we're just going 100 minus your age, I guess, is how long you've got to wait. And then we're going to um, mix that there. So I'm going to show you a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to just go age, um, and it's an integer. Input, how old are you? Question mark space, close both of them. Now, um, you might think that we could just go um, answer equals 100 minus age. Okay, so that's going to calculate it out for how long to wait. Answer is just a bit vague. How long? Ling, long? How long? Um, we're going to go print. I'm having difficulty typing at the moment. You must wait, and then we go finish it off plus, and then we're going to convert um, how long into a string plus plus space years full stop end quote end quote. So that's one way to do it, and that will work. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at that. Run. How are you? I'm um, 32. I've got to wait six out years. Okay. So the other way to do it. Right, and just commenting them out, like just so you can see. You could actually do it all once you go print, you must wait, and string 100 minus age plus years. So you could do it all in one line, or you could have, you could even, like if you really wanted to, right, so that, that will work. But I personally, well, uh, that, that's right, but you could have um, also done it this way, where how long, and we could actually convert it to a string there, and we'll actually say that's a string, and then in here, how long string. So that one there is probably a bit more readable. If you wanted to use the how long elsewhere as a number, you would um, probably not convert it to a string, but that's just showing you how to convert strings and things like that. So um, yeah, that's awesome. All right, we're back to turtles. So um, just a reminder, forward, left, right, forward. So what's this gonna do? And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna start combining with ifs to make more interesting programs, so that's cool. So what's this doing? A zigzag, that's quite interesting. Okay, and remember the angles, we're moving, so we're turning that angle, so not the inner angles, we're not turning that angle, so if we want to turn 60, if we want an angle of 61 degrees, we've actually got to turn 119 degrees, so that we did that last time. Okay, so moving backwards, so guess what backwards does? Moves backwards, so instead of moving forwards, move backwards. Um, makes much easier to draw lines and go back to the start of line without turning 180 degrees. So, longest is a shape where all sides are equal, like a square, but it's still to one side, opposite sides are almost parallel. So, a bit of, oh, math, you got math, what? oh, yuck, this is programming, not math. Why are we doing math? That's, oh, come on, this is terrible. No, um, you've got to do a lot of math if you want to be, if you want to do some coding, so rhombus is a, all right. So, let's have a look at this, 100 steps long, and um, using right angle for the bottom left and top right corners, all sides must be 100 steps long. So, enter the angle, and when the angle is less than 100, the bottom left is acute, and leads to the right, okay? If the angle is obtuse, then it, enter, like, so we're doing that, so how would we do that? Um, Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I think we could probably cheat a little bit, but we'll, we'll do it. Um, okay, so let's think. We need What do we need? We need that angle, and we know that that is 100. So start off, we're using turtle, from turtle import. Now, I like to put all the information that we know um, into variables so that um, we're not having magic numbers. So length, length equals 100. And we need the angle. So angle equals, it's an integer, it's an input, and it's enter the angle. And um, I was saying something about if statements, but I think we could probably, oh, we can do this one. We're gonna go move forward by length, forward by length. We're gonna turn left by angle. We're gonna move forward by length. And we're going to move left by 180 degrees minus angle. What, you might ask, oh, that's a bit tricky. We're gonna move forward by length. And then we're gonna move left by angle again because we're going to do it four times, and then uh, left by angle, and then forward by length. Now, um, 
that I believe should accommodate that. Although, let's have a look at this run. Um, I'm not too convinced that it'll do that one, but let's have a look. Oh, we do it that way, yep, that works. Let's run it again, and we want it 30. So, we could have overcomplicated this by doing putting an if statement in. Like they, I think they wanted us to, but we could have really overcomplicated it. Oh, if it's less than 90, then the, 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 but to change that. But because we're taking into account the angle and we're using that minus with that, we should be all right. So let's have a look, submit, um, mark in progress, and yes, we're pretty good. So that's that one done. So um, if you sit and think about programs, you can often simplify them. And programming, there's a million and one ways to do things. So what about colors? Um, right, I'm going to just do it. So you can change the property of line the turtle draws. Um, with the pen color. Now, oh, American color, C-O-L-O-R. Spell it right, it's C-O-L-O-U-R. So, but most programming code uses color, web uses color. Uh, most, if you see color, it's generally L-O-R. So get used to it. Um, so you can change it. You've got red, purple, blue. What's that gonna do? Let's have a look, let's run the code. Red, purple, blue, oh, cool. Um, all these ones, tomato color, pink, hot pink. Medium brown, black, slate gray, dim gray, light gray, wheat, misty rose, misty rose, salmon, coral. How many different pinks do you need? Blue, navy, royal, cornflower. Lots of blues, cornflower, blue. Spring green. So you've got lots of, and there'd be um, lots of lots of other ones. So um, if we quickly have a look here, um, I'm just going to, this and this is going to give you all of the um, colors that you could use. And how many different grays do you need? Um, dark orange four, fire brick. Dark olive green two, three, like just ridiculous. Um, so lots of colors to choose from. So you can do lots of things. So um, yeah, sorry, but got a bit carried away with color. C O L O U R. So um, we can draw thicker lines too. So pen size ten. So let's have a look at that. And it's going to draw a ten what? Ten pixels wide. So it defaults to one pixel. So that's one pixel, and then ten. And it has that ugly little round thing because that's just the extra ten pixels, and it's nice and round. It's not blocking or anything like that. So our next one um, is okay. Three little pigs. Uh, we don't need to read three little pigs. Um, there are three little pigs, and the first pig built his house out of straw, second little pig built out of sticks, and the third built out of bricks. And then the wolf came along and huffed and puffed and blew the straw and the brick and the stick house down. And depending on which version you read, the uh, wolf eats the other two. And then in that last one, I think the wolf goes down the chimney into the stew pot, and they have wolf stew, but that might have just been a bizarre one I read. Um, so, my program which asks you is whether they want to build straw, sticks, or bricks, and then draws a house with the appropriate colour. Okay, oh, we're going to draw a house. So the triangle top should have angles of 60 degrees, the triangle side should be 100 and 10 steps wide using pen size. So that's an example there. So what do we know? I'm going to set some variables up. So we know um, pen size equals 10, um, angle equals 60, so and side equals 100. Now I'm also going to set, um, set this up as straw equals gold, sticks equals... Now you might... Um, I might actually just go straw color. I'm going to uh, to avoid confusion. I'm going to do it that way. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to do it that way because because I can and brick color and dim gray. Dim gray. Okay, so that's the information we need. So we're going to draw the triangle. Do we draw the triangle first? Um, we've got boom, 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 and then boom, boom, boom. So that's sticks and bricks. Okay, so we can do that. Um, well, let's set it up. So we got. I'm going to start commenting pen, pen set up. So pen size is pen size. Pen color, but well, we don't know that, do we? So let's actually grab that first. Oh, that's material equals input. And we're going to say material, colon, like that. If equals straw. Material equals straw. Oh, what have I done? Material equals straw. I'm going to say color equals straw color. Hey, hey, let's see. Um, LF, um, LF material equals brick. Color equals brick. And L F um, equals straw brick and stick. Was it sticks? Um, material equal bricks. Sticks. Color equals brick color. 
Now, I am also going to go else. So I'm putting this in because if we don't put something in color equals, I'm just going to say red. Um, if we don't put a color in there um, and materials errors like, it's not going to actually set a value for color. So this, we will definitely have a color if somebody puts a stupid material in. Um, so we're going to set our pen size and we're going to set our pen color to color. Okay, so let's do the triangle. Triangle. Okay, so to draw a triangle, we're just going to turn left by left by 60, forward by 100, right by 120, forward 100, right by 120, forward by 100. Does that make sense? Let's have a think about it. So, um, so we actually we'll go forward and then we'll turn. Okay, so we'll go forward um, and we've already got the side, forward by side. And we're going to turn left by um, angle, um, 180 minus angle, isn't it? 180 minus angle, forward by side, left by 180 minus angle, forward by side. Now, I'm going to test this now just to see that it runs. I haven't like, typed a fair bit of code, no typos or anything like that. Um, very important to make sure that sometimes you just you misspell stuff and you break stuff, you forget stuff. So the more you type, the more likely you are to make an error. So test early, test often. Um, this has been very slow, so you might have to just bear with me. Um, I might pause for a second and see what my internet's doing. Okay, so um, one of the reasons it was taking so long is because I didn't actually include um, my if we remember. So looking mistakes. Uh, and if I run it, I have to pause it. So material. Um, brick, bricks. Uh, what's it doing? Name forward is not defined. So forward. So that's what I was talking about earlier, making mistakes, typos. So material bricks. All right, so now all we have to do is go boom, 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 and we've built our house. So that's easy. So rest of house. So just another comment. So let's get rid of those things there. So, so how do we do that? So if we're facing this way, we actually need to turn. How far do we have to turn? Well, it's, what angle is it? Ooh, let's think about that. So we need to turn. All right, so we need to turn. Um, so it's not 60 degrees. It's not 180 minus angle because it's um, we're only we're turning half the distance. So it'll be 90 minus angle. So left um, 90 minus angle because we're not doing a we're not doing a full turn. So then it's forward by side, and then we're back into it um, left by 90 forward by side, left by 90 forward by side. And that should work. I'm going to do it as, it's right there, so it shouldn't interrupt it. Um, sticks. What? So it does that, but what is the problem? Material equals sticks, and I'll change it to brick color. Stick color. So straw, stick, brick, straw, stick, brick. So straw, bricks, stick. So let's run that. So this is why we test sticks. How's that? Ugly um, brown color. So I'm confident that that will work. Let's have a look. Marking progress. Yay. So done. So that is it. So it's time to have a break because I'm, we're up to the fifth module um, and we're going to be learning a bit more. So I'll get back to that very soon. So thanks for following along so far.